are science five so are you ready for our new lesson now are you excited so i am your science teacher mary jane but you can call me teacher mj let's start once again grade five welcome to our lesson one enjoy recognizing useful and harmful materials so our activity a safer home and school in normal we use milk seed quarter one week one two use the properties of materials whether they are useful or harmful so our objectives in this time the learner should be able to enumerate useful and harmful materials at home and in at school and differentiate useful and harmful materials show real objects or pictures of common materials we have battery uh, we have newspapers and we have glass and we have plastic bottles. Oh, grade 5, it's your turn. What are the materials did you see? What can you say about it? And what are the similarities and differences of the materials? Okay, this time all you have to do is to get three things inside in your home and three things inside in your bag i guess you still have a bag okay get three things inside in your bag and three things inside in your home or house five follow this one let the learners get three items from their bags and three more items inside the classroom identify each item and describe it what is the object made of are these materials safe or harmful why? Grade 5, let's explore activity, a safer home, and school. Science skills, observing and classifying. Time frame, 10 minutes. You will need paper and ball pen. What to do, number one. Look around your house. List 20 materials that you see in those places. Number two. Classify the following materials as safe or harmful. Cross out the harmful waste materials. Let's answer the questions. Number one. How did you classify the materials? Number two. Why do we need to know which materials are useful and harmful? Five questions. Number one. Aside from the materials given in the text, what other materials in your home can you consider as harmful? Why do you consider them as harmful? Number two. How do you properly dispose of the materials you have listed above? These are the useful materials. A material that serves its purpose can be used for other purposes, can be recycled can be dumped straight into the landfill. Something can be recovered from the materials. And these are the harmful materials. Materials are toxic to us. Materials that can cause injury. Materials that cannot be dumped straight into a landfill can pollute the environment easily. Takes too much to decompose. Grade 5, let's start recognizing useful and harmful materials. We need to identify first what are the materials are here. So we have insecticide. Next is we have thinner. We have also cartoons, use paper, we have muriatic acid, bleach or cleaner, we have also a foil pack, a gasoline, a plastic cup, and we also have paint. And this time, we need to recognize which materials are useful and which materials are harmful. 
So let's start. Now let's start. Use paper. We have thinner. We have bleach. We have plastic cup. And we have gasoline and muriatic acid. And that's it. We recognize already the useful and harmful materials. So that's it. I hope you learned something grade 5. Now it's your turn to recognize. This time grade 5 you will go to your barangay and ask or interview any other barangay official about waste management program of their barangay. Then ask their neighbors if they are aware of such program. Ask some advice how they can implement such program. Make a report about information they gather. For evaluation, fill out the table below. Enumerate some useful and harmful materials that you can find at home or in school. If it is useful, give example by which you can use it. If it is harmful, Explain how you can dispose it properly. Extend. Put a check on the second column if you find the materials useful and X if you consider it as waste. We have materials, empty bottles, fruit fillings, expired medicine, scratch paper. And that's all for today, Grade 5. I hope you enjoy a lot and see you in our next lesson. Bye!